video is a beauty video and it's all about mascara. I'm going to compare two mascaras, one from luxury brand Chanel and the other one from a smaller brand Maybelline. Can you tell which is which? Watch your video to find out. Hi, it's Kelly and welcome back to Me More TV. If you're new to my channel, I make videos about paleo beauty and lifestyle. Today's video is a beauty video. I'm going to compare luxury brand Chanel to a smaller brand, Maybelline, and a big brush compared to a little brush on their mascaras. Now, if you follow me on my YouTube channel, you may know that I have been using the Maybelline Great Lash for over 30 years. And I've tried all different little mascaras and I always keep coming back to this little baby. But I was at the airport, picked up a couple of things that I needed and they had this special on with Chanel. I thought, I'm gonna try that. It's so against everything I believe. Because first of all, okay, look at this. This is kind of cute. Boom, pops out. But look at this. Can you see how small that the brush is? And it's also, see this? See this? It's a silicon brush. Right, what I've been used to, big bushy brush, and every mascara I get, this is a Mimo TV tip, I bend it so it's easier to apply. Now I can't do that with the silicone tip. So I want you to have a look at this. I'm gonna apply both, and then I'm gonna talk about the pros and cons and what I think. So I always just run it around like that and then go on the top part. And then always underneath. I've got a few beauty tutorials on my, and some updated ones. I'm turning this brush, so I'm just using as much mascara on it and then separating and just layering. And I'm gonna go on top again, on top, on top just to get those tips i always do this with any mascara any mascara the maybelline mascara because i've always come back to that one i'm only going to do the top because i think they're the only important ones i don't really use much on the bottom to be honest so for me to compare it's going to be on the top so one I like that. Then the good old trusted Maybelline. Same thing. I run it all along the top. Make sure I've got it right on the tips. See this brush? See the brushes like that? It's so good. It's bent how it should be. So the application is no different. It's the applicators and the product that is different. So, mmm. Mm. <laughs> Remember my tip to let the mascara dry before you go and try and wipe it off. Use your own saliva. This should be dry, nicely removed. So any that's on my skin, you really want to not touch the lashes when you do that on top. You can touch them underneath, but not on top. So my left eye is Maybelline. My right eye is Chanel. Can you tell a difference? Let me tell you the differences I found. Both mascaras are the darkest black and they're both not waterproof, something I definitely recommend is never use a waterproof mascara because the time you try to get that off with your makeup, you're gonna lose half your eyelashes. So what I found with Chanel, Chanel comes on a little bit blotchier. It doesn't run so smoothly. You can see little lumps in my lashes compared to Maybelline. I don't think it's as nice a finish as the Maybelline. The one thing with the Chanel with a tiny brush, I find that okay to work with. I did find that I have a lot less on my actual skin when I used that brush. The Maybelline, I tend to get a lot around my eye. But hey, that dries and wipes off, so that's no big deal. I just still think the Maybelline, the bigger brush, the more bristles, I think it's just a cleaner finish. What do you think? When we compare price, we are talking, I live in London, this is pounds, $6.99 versus Chanel, Noir Allure, boom, 38 pounds. I'm still a believer. 
I'm your biggest fan. Honestly, for me, it doesn't get better than the Maybelline Great Lash. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I make lots of videos about beauty, lifestyle, paleo, fitness. It's a bit of everything. And also check out my Instagram because every week I do a Me More TV, pay it forward and give something away free of charge every week. So please give me the thumbs up and click on the notification bell if you'd like to be notified when my next video comes live. And don't forget to subscribe. A couple of seconds of your time makes such a difference for me to be able to grow my channel and keep producing this amazing content. <laughs> Bye. Don't know how we do that, but that. <laughs>